It's 2023, Happy New Year, we all made it. What can we expect for the housing market in San Antonio this year? Well, let's discuss. Well, it's been a very interesting roller coaster ride in these past couple of years as the pandemic pretty much flipped the market right on its head. From really intense seller market with very low inventory to very competitive multiple, multiple offers on overpriced homes to a hard break check with increasing rates that slow down a lot of interested buyers. But what's next? My name is John Moses with Cobo Banker Deanne Harper Realtors and I'm about to shed a little bit of light on what you could potentially expect for 2023. It looks good y'all. First let's talk about the market itself. There's a lot that contributes to a shifting market and one of the most important underlying factors is the economy. A quick summary states that the U.S. economy is finally going to claim that we're in a recession on the first and second quarter of this year. But not only is it going to be a mild recession, but they're expecting it to be a short-lived recession only lasting to the first quarter of 2024. But what does that even mean, right? Well, with this in mind, market rates may start drifting downward in the anticipation that the Federal Reserve will start changing rates and lowering rates in 2024. Yes, the word recession is scary, and honestly, it feels like we've been in there for a lot longer. However, keep in mind that the housing rates are not like stocks that can easily fluctuate with just a simple joke on Saturday Night Live. Yes, Elon Musk, thank you. And that was a while back, but I'm still feeling that one. The housing market takes a lot longer for it to sway. There's a lot more contributing factors, interest rates being one of them. But what drives interest rates? Well, inflation. There is a Federal Reserve, the expectation of where the economy is going, the number of active investors, and alternative investment opportunities. So there's a lot of both. As of right now, buyers are actually responding to these higher housing costs. Surprisingly, even the 500,000 and above going into that luxury range, which normally takes a lot longer in any market, is actually doing quite well right now. But even after the pandemic really boosted the home prices, buyers are becoming more confident in the housing market as interest rates are starting to coast and ultimately the financial decisions are not the only factors driving people to buy. But rolling into 2023, the pendulum of who's reaping the most benefit is starting to sway into the buyer side. As inventory starts to grow, sellers starting to get more motivated to actually sell as their properties are sitting on the market a little bit longer. Buyers can actually start to expect one, more choices, two, less competition, three, an opportunity for less upfront cost. Regarding new builds, right? So building from ground up, brand spanking new, Zonda shows a report stating that Texas has a 30% cancellation rate right now. 60% of builders are saying that they're gonna start raising incentives to get the buyers in. But what does that mean for you? Well, one is savings on upfront cost. Two is that you actually have homes that have a bunch of upgrades that are almost done or already completed that you can get major deals on those upgrades or sometimes even not pay extra costs for those upgrades. And unfortunately, a lot of builders are experiencing a lot of cancellations due to the price changes. You have people that committed to a price or a higher price about four or five months ago that no longer agree with that and unfortunately they're starting to walk. Also, with all these price changes, keep in mind that price changes do not mean value changes. Unfortunately, there's a lot of sellers right now that still think we're in a competitive market that are pricing their property way above value and not taking the shifting market seriously, which now, as their property sits on the market longer and longer, they're starting to price it down to value. I know it sounds like it's a complete buyer's market now, but not just yet. Redfin has a report stating that 43% of the home searches here in San Antonio are from out of state. Yes, primarily Los Angeles. But what this means is that there's still huge interest in our city. That's gonna be great for potential growth. And as of right now, sellers that are pricing their property accordingly, being strategic with it, a great marketing strategy and really prepare their home for sale are still witnessing multiple offers. Overall, San Antonio is expected to still show growth in home values year over year. And as the market starts to balance out, we're really in a position where both buyers and sellers can come out on top. There is a lot of hope that this year is gonna be the closest we have to a normal market in quite some time. 
But like stops, we really don't know until it happens. But based off all this information and patterns in history, it really looks like it's gonna be a good year. Hit that like button if this is helpful for you. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay on top of the market and we can see how this unfolds. If you have any questions or interesting facts about the market, feel free to leave them in the comment below. Also, if you're interested in buying or selling a property, just want some insight on how to be strategic and really take advantage of today's market, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to break that down for you, especially specifically to your area. We'll narrow down the facts and give them to you as easy as possible. My name is John Moses with Coa Banker, Dan Harper, Realtors to old friends and new. Bye.